Hi. This screencast is going to show you how to get set up and how to work through the process of doing a uh, genetic sequence alignment and generating a phylogenetic tree. And this goes along with the HHMI activity, Biodiversity and Evolutionary Trees, an activity on biological classification. There is an online version of this activity too, which uh, you might find useful, and that involves creating a phylogenetic tree through uh, morphological analysis of different kinds of shells. But this is going to go a little bit deeper and actually look at sequence data from a bunch of mollusks in order to generate a tree. And so this screencast is just gonna show you how to get set up what you need to do so that you can work through the activity. You're gonna need three things. The first thing that you're gonna need is the DNA comparison activity sequence files, which are available right here as a zip file. And so you wanna download that. Um, I'm not going to download it right now, but you would want to download it to your desktop. Uh, you're also going to need two programs. You're going to need Clustal. Clustal is a program that aligns sequences. And we'd ask that you use Clustal X for this activity. It is not the most recent version of Clustal. That would be Clustal Omega. But for the purpose of this activity, using Clustal X is more than fine. And so you would just go here and follow it through. And there are versions for all major platforms from Linux through Windows to Mac OS X. There's really no limit. So download Clustal. You're going to need that. And so if you just click through, that's what you get. And you're also going to need NJplot, which is a program that renders phylogenetic trees. And so there's a lot of options down here to pick from for NJplot. Um, if for whatever reason this site isn't working, sometimes it's a little bit freaky. If you just Google NJplot for your particular operating system, you'll get a mirror site, which will uh, help you help you load it. All right, so once you've got those three things, you're gonna to want to install them. Uh, the, ins the installation is not a big deal at all. Um, the files are right here. So I've already downloaded everything. So I've got my Clustal X, um, I've got my NJplot right down here, and I've got my Mollusk DNA files from the Howard Hughes website. And so the basic way that a phylogenetic analysis is conducted is by aligning the sequence information first, and that's what we use Clustal X for, and then looking at the tree that's produced, and that's what we're gonna use NJplot for. And I'm just gonna work through the first one to show you, and this goes along with what's in the activity as well. But so we're gonna start Clustal X, and what we're gonna want is, we're gonna to wanna to load in this data, this test.txt data. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like really quickly here before we load it in. So we've got the three different test DNA sequences right here. And these are formatted in what's called a fast A format, which has a header that consists of some number of right facing angle brackets and then some information about the specimen where it came from. And then on the next line, we're followed by the actual data. And so uh, we're going to make that go away because we're going to load it directly into the program. So if we go back into Clustal, um, what we want to do is go to file and just go to load sequences and we need to browse to our sequences. So let's go down to where we put our test sequences. Notice that those test files are always saved as just plain text files. It's the formatting inside the text that's important and we open it up and this is the unaligned version. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So here's the unaligned version. And so what we need to do first is just do an alignment. So we just want to go to alignment and say, do complete alignment. And this is going to ask us where we want to put our outputs and things like that. And that's fine. It's just going to save it to the same directory that the files were in initially, if at all possible. You can change that certainly if you want, but let's just click OK. And so now we've got our aligned. And so what you can see here is the different sequences. And any place where all of the bases line up is indicated with an asterisk. And any missing bases or inserted bases are indicated here, and we can see where the issues are, or any substitutions as well are also indicated as well. All right, the last thing that we want to do while we're in Clustal is just go to Trees and just tell it to draw the tree. And so it's going to create a tree file, which always ends in .ph for the kind of tree that we're using. There's a lot of different kinds of trees, but this is one that we'll be using for this activity. And so we're going to click OK, and we're going to save our tree file. And so that's all that we're going to use Clustal for is to align sequences. All right, now you can see our tree file is now here, but we need to use NJplot in order to interpret that tree file. So if we go and click and open up NJplot, right, we've got some options here, but what we want to do is open up our tree file. So we'll go down to where we'd saved it is that .ph 
extension. And if we click and choose that, now we've got our tree that has been rendered here. And so this tree is showing us differences between the samples that we looked at, right? And those differences, of course, correlate to missing bases, inserted bases, deleted bases, and all of those kinds of things. And so that's the basic process for this activity is to get DNA sequence information, align it using Clustal, and then use njplot to show the tree. Uh, the activity goes a lot more in depth as to what exactly you're seeing, and please look at that information in order to understand exactly what's going on here. But it's a pretty cool activity, and once you actually start running real data with a whole bunch of different organisms, you start to see why these programs are really very useful. Uh, of course, let me just point out that you don't just need to use the data that we provided for this kind of thing. If you can get fast A sequenced data from anywhere, like from BLAST, for instance, for any collection of genes from any group of organisms, you can align them in Clustal and then render the tree using njplot by using the same process that was shown here. So go crazy. Don't limit yourself.